Welcome everybody to Building an HO Train Layout, Episode 6. We have a lot to get covered in this episode, so let's get started. In this episode, we're going to be changing this part of the layout from this to a whole new different scene. To start off, we're going to be using the same pop dot tape that we used for the roads in the last episode. And the reasoning for this is to separate the gravel part and the concrete part for the parking lot that we're going to make. I'm going to be using deep brown acrylic paint that I have used in the past and an old brush of mine. As for the gravel, we're going to be using Gray Fine Gravel by Woodland Scenics. I'm going to be painting thoroughly through this area right here and making sure I pretty much get the entire little spot. Now in this case, I'm not going to be using any masking tape. I'm just going to be careful and take my time with the details of this small area. Now time for the gravel. Using this cheap brush, I'm going to spread out the gravel throughout the painted areas. And in the spots that I need more gravel, I just pour a little bit more. Now to make sure there's no gravel on the road. Now that everything's flattened out, I just use my finger to get rid of the rough areas, I'd say. Next up is to use some isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to be using this piece of paper just so I don't get it everywhere. And I'm also making sure that I thoroughly spray the area with the isopropyl alcohol. Now I'm going to mask off all the areas where I don't want glue just to make it easier in the future. I'm going to be using the scenic cement that I've always used. And I'm going to be using the same bottle I used for the alcohol. I heavily spray the area making sure everything's glued down correctly. Now to let it all dry. And we can now remove the protection we had laid down. So for this scenery, I'm going to be using a Walther's Train Line Brick Freight House. Now I will have to say that I was actually very impressed with the quality of this house. And don't mind the glue spots everywhere because those will actually help us in the future when we weather the house. And for the weathering job, I'm going to be using this Tamiya Weathering Master Kit. Now using the orange rust powder, I lightly start to weather the rooftops. Now this process can be a little slow, but you want to make sure you put the powder where there actually would be rust in real life. I also use the powder to cover up the glue spots. I thought it added good variety to the bricks. And now I find a nice spot to put the fray house. I think I did a pretty good weathering job, but when it comes to the other brick part of the rooftop, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. Now the next step is to use some of the popped up tape to mark off where we're going to actually put the parking lot. And this is going to be the section where the parking lot's going to be. For this task, I'm just going to be using Smooth It like I did with the roads before. Now in the future, if I do have my buildings, I probably won't do the whole thing in concrete. I'll probably mark off the sections where I'm actually going to have the buildings and not put any smooth it there. But I don't actually know what buildings I'm going to be using in the future, so I'm just going to do the whole thing. And this part is just a matter of taking your time and making sure you get the smooth it everywhere. All right, now the smoothie is spread out everywhere, but I did make a couple of mistakes, uh, such as this one, but that'll be repaired in the future. So far, it's coming along pretty well, and I'm actually satisfied with how things look so far. And a day later, everything's pretty much dry and ready for the next process. 
I'm gonna be using this 220 fine grit sandpaper and it's gonna be pretty much just a lot of sanding. And I mean a lot. At the end of all the sanding, you pretty much just want a smooth and flat layer. We're done sanding and now we can vacuum up our mess. I'm gonna be using this Mono Llama paint that I got at Target for about a dollar and 75 cents. And it's gonna be in the gentle elephant color, which I don't know how they came up with that. But first I'm gonna dust off the area just to make sure it doesn't interrupt with the painting. And now to paint the whole parking lot. In this case, I kind of just poured some of the paint just to make it a little bit easier. And I just spread it around. Now that we're done painting, we can vacuum up the extra mess. And using a wet cloth, we can easily wipe the road clean. And here's the progress so far. Now we just have to wait for the paint to dry and we can work on other things. For the next little step, we're gonna be using these bushes. They're called Briar Patch Medium Green by Woodland Scenics. To glue down the bushes, I'm gonna be using this tacky glue. Here I'm pretty much just figuring out where I'm gonna put the bushes and making sure I kinda of like where it's fitted. Time to apply glue to the bottom and to stick it on the gravel. To add more variety, I'm gonna be using the bushes I already have, and I'm gonna kinda of place them where I think they would look good. Now I went back to this spot because I felt like it was missing something, and frankly it was dirt. So I used some of my sifted dirt and kind of just applied it over the bushes. And with this brush I clean it up and I can also tap the bushes to make sure the dirt falls. I put my paper down for some protection and I glue away with the scenic glue. And in this case, I'm spraying it on pretty heavy because it'll actually glue down the bushes as well. And now it's time to peel up some of the tape. Now with this piece of tape, I was really careful with how I peeled it up because I didn't want to peel up some of the gravel as well. Now it's time to fill in the empty spots with the correct gravel. And of course I glue it down with a spray bottle. Finally we peel up some of the last pieces of tape we have laid out. And having the tape there saved me a lot of mess. Spots where I got paint like this can be easily fixed later on. There's still a lot of detail to add left, but this is a good start. So like I said, in the next episode, we're gonna be focusing on the tiny details of this part of the layout, and we're gonna be putting lines on the roads. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you wanna see future videos, please leave a like and subscribe, 
and I will catch you guys in the next one.